in this lecture we are going to talk about sympathetic vasoconstrictor tone and how the vasoconstrictor area of the vasomotor center in the brain is controlling the uh, circulation basically we are discussing the nervous regulation of the circulation or we are discussing how the nervous system how the brain spinal cord and nerves are playing their role in regulation of the circulation in regulation of the blood flow in regulation of the heart rate and uh, contraction and uh, constriction and dilatation of the blood vessels we discussed that the nervous regulation of the circulation is most uh, commonly with the help of the autonomic nervous system and the in the autonomic nervous system the most important uh, component was the sympathetic sympathetic uh, nervous system although the parasympathetic uh, system is also important but the most important was the sympathetic system then we discussed the vasomotor center and we discussed that inside the human brain there is a center in the med uh, in the medulla and pons which is known as the uh, vasomotor center then we discussed that when we dissect vasomotor center we see that there are two important areas the vasoconstrictor areas in the upper area in the upper centers we have the vasoconstrictor centers and in the lower down we have the uh, vasodilator centers the the role of the vasoconstrictor the vasoconstrictor the role of vasoconstrictor area was to constrict the blood vessel to decrease the diameter of the blood vessel here is the diameter of the blood vessel and with the help of constrictor area the diameter decreases and this is with the help of increased tone when this area is firing this area is sending impulses this uh, causes constriction of the blood vessel then we also discussed that the vasodilator area basically uh, inhibits the vasoconstrictor area and helps in the dilation of the blood vessels there is another area sensory areas uh, sensory area basically analyze the input and output and it sends the output according to the inputs now the vaso vaso motor center the vaso motor center in the brain is sending both the sympathetic and parasympathetic signals it is causing vasoconstriction as well as dilation it is causing constriction as well as dilation but under normal condition under normal condition normal circumstances this constrictor area the vasoconstrictor area or the upper area this area it is continuously sending a few signals a few signals every few every second 2 to 3 signals per second continuously and this continuous uh, nerve nerve signals this continuous these continuous nerve signals are known as the sympathetic vasoconstrictor tone sympathetic vasoconstrictor tone because the continuous nerve signals or the continuous slow firing of the vasoconstrictor area of the vasomotor center is helping to maintain the tone of the blood vessels it is helping in the maintenance of the tone of blood vessels the blood vessels they remain constricted slightly constricted when this is when this center is activated the constriction of the vessels increases the tone increases a lot but there is slight constriction slight vasoconstriction is normally present due to continuous slow firing continuous transmission of few impulses every second that continuous slow firing that continuous transfer of few nerve impulses every second is known as the sympathetic vasoconstrictor tone and it helps in the in maintaining slight constriction in the blood vessel all the time and it helps in the circulation now the importance of this symp uh, sympathetic vasoconstrictor tone can be explained with the help of this example this figure this diagram is basically showing the pressure in the blood vessel here we we are showing the tone in the blood uh, in a blood vessel under normal circumstances when normally the sympathetic vasoconstrictor tone is present this 
tone is when present this continuous slow firing is when present the tone in the the tone or the pressure or the constriction in the blood vessel is at the level of 100 mm of mercury the pressure the pressure or the tone is at the level of 100 mm of mercury or it helps in maintaining a mean arterial pressure of around 100 mm of mercury now we inject some anesthetic spinal anesthetic at this point as soon as we inject some anesthetic this continuous slow firing stops because this uh, this continuous firing is with the help of neurons and neurons are basically transmitting some neurotransmitters and with the help of neurotransmitters this continuous uh, firing or this vasoconstrictor tone is being uh, transferred to the blood vessels with the help of anesthetic at this level these neurotransmitters are stopped as soon the tone is gone due to this anesthetics the tone is lost and dilation occur and the blood pressure or the mean arterial pressure suddenly falls from 100 mm of mercury to around 50 mm of mercury it explains that if there was no continuous firing if there was no continuous sympathetic vasoconstrictor tone then the mean arterial pressure could not be maintained normally at this level it has been explained by this example now after some time we inject norepinephrine here we inject it anesthetics now we here we inject norepinephrine norepinephrine is basically released from the sympathetic nerves at this end at the sympathetic endings norepinephrine is released so to block this anesthetic we inject some norepinephrine as we inject the norepinephrine this tone comes back this tone comes back and helps to bring back the mean arterial pressure for some time but is the is the effect of the this mean norepinephrine is gone the mean arterial pressure falls again to this level as long as the effect of the anesthetic is not gone the mean arterial pressure in these blood vessels will remain at 50 mm of mercury when the effect of this anesthetic will be gone completely when the effect of the anesthetic will gone will be gone completely this tone in the vessel will return automatically to normal tone the tone or the mean arterial pressure or the constriction in the blood vessel will return to normal so the sympathetic vasoconstrictor tone is basically the continuous slow firing the continuous 2 to 3 impulses per second from the vasoconstrictor area from the vasoconstrictor area of the vasomotor center from the brain and it is helping in maintaining slight constriction or it is helping in maintaining the mean arterial pressure at a at a specific role is at a specific uh, uh, level and if the if the effect of this tone is decreased with the help of some anesthetic it can be shown that the mean arterial pressure will fall because the tone will be lost the tone the effect of the tone will be lost with the help of this anesthetic and the tone will suddenly decrease which will decrease the mean arterial pressure from 100 to 50 and if it is if the neurotransmitters are injected back the tone can be uh, the tone can be regained and when the half life of that neurotransmitter that norepinephrine is uh, decreased or when it is uh, distracted from the body that mean arterial pressure falls back as long as this anesthetic is there in the body after the loss of anesthetic the tone will return to normal so as a part of the nervous regulation the sympathetic vasoconstrictor tone from the vasomotor center from the vasomotor center from the vasoconstrictor area of the vasomotor center from the vasoconstrictor area of the vasomotor center of the brain it helps in maintaining a slightly uh, constricted uh, slightly constricted blood vessels and it is helping in maintaining uh, a slightly uh, it is helping in maintaining the mean arterial pressure at a specific level so that's all about the sympathetic vasoconstrictor tone
थैंक्स अलॉट फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो